Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 12739 Southwest Danbush Court here in Tigard. We're located at the front of the home. We're just off to the left of the front doorway. We have a three inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. Transitions here over to 4 inch 3034 PVC pipe. We've got a lot of water going through the line right now. We've had a bunch of toilet flushes here in just the last couple seconds. We'll totally drain this line out at the end so we can have a good look at it on the way back. Looks like we've got a belly here in the line, best I can tell, and possibly a clog. Yeah, we just, we're clearing a clog right now as we speak. Yeah, we'll definitely be taking a look at that on the way out. It could be a belly in the line catching stuff, it could just be that the line's clogged up there and damming things up. But. Anyway, if there's a belly there, you can see that there is the potential for a lot of debris to build up and possibly block the line. So that's the concern with bellies, is cause stuff to build up. And at this point, we still don't know if that's the case. When you totally drain it out, we'll see if it is still dammed up with water there or not. And we've just reached a tie-in here. This appears to be for the neighbor's house, so the, the line we might, have, we might have passed into the main there without noticing it. Sometimes on these cul-de-sacs, the, the, like the first house will essentially be continuous with the main lateral, and that might be what we have going on here. So we're gonna shut the water off here and let it drain. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. Looking at where the manhole cover is out there, it looks like the camera just passed straight into it. We probably couldn't see that connection because of the standing water in the pipe here. So we're gonna reel it back here just a bit until we get to that. The, the line ties it right into the manhole. It's out in front of the driveway. We'll pull it back to that point and then uh, let it drain all the way out. So it appears that this is the main lateral connection right here at about 54 feet. I'm just going to go locate and double check that. Um, this is a, th a spot here where you could contact the city. My camera on the way back out was, this right here is solid as can be, all this junk here. And this will happen sometimes because you have two or three houses all tying in at the same spot. They'll get You get kind of cross traffic. You'll have debris shooting across the main rather than shooting straight down it. And that's likely what's happened here. You can see, I mean, that, that build up there is six inches tall at least. So um, either need to get it jetted or possibly call the city and they may be able to bring out a vector unit to suck all that junk out of there. All right, just located the camera head with my locator unit. I was able to actually just look down into the manhole too and see my camera head. So there's some paint markings right before the manhole. 
my guess is they were mapping out a belly. Um, the thing is, is there's no belly there. I think what happened is they probably didn't push their camera all the way into the main to knock the blockage out of the way. As you can see here, we have no standing water or anything of the sort. Now the, the issue is it's purely because the way that that manhole is configured. This line comes in here and you probably have the, a house on either side of this coming in from the left and right. That's my that's usually how these things are set up here. And it creates cross traffic and that debris doesn't go down line, it just all gets stuck in the middle there. So that definitely needs to be cleaned out. That was almost a complete blockage there that we, we punched out of the way. That has a, uh, a fairly high potential for, for a backup there if that's not kept on top of. It's an even bigger problem if you have uh, neighbors in the, especially on where they tie into that manhole. If people are putting paper towels and wipes and stuff down the line, they'll build up there like crazy. Here's our transition point. This actually looks like it's transitioning here over to, best I can tell, it looks like six inch diameter pipe, not four inch. I think I said four earlier. Now that there may be entirely a city problem. So before you go and call the jet guys out, I would contact the city, send the video over to them so they can see that. Anyway, those paint markings out there, they're not my markings, and I'm not recommending a repair out, out there. I think what happened is whoever scoped this last time didn't camera all the way into that and knock the blockage out of the way, and it probably looked like there was a belly there. Now, we are just about to pull the camera out of the line. Aside from the kind of issue there at the manhole, the line itself, the ABS and PVC portions leading out to the main, are all in great condition, have good flow, and are functioning properly at this time. Um, if that stuff starts building back up again, you may not have a properly functioning line. There's a bunch of stuff there. So um, if it's not cleaned out, all the junk sitting in that main will, will lead to more building back up again.